Welcome back guys. Hope you're all doing well. It is absolutely miserable outside where I am. It has been pouring rain non-stop for hours. It's not even cold, but I love the rain. It gives me an opportunity to sit down and binge on movies. I also thought, hmm, maybe I should try a bit more of a natural lighting this time round, just so I can get it like a bit more of a different feel. Rather than constantly having the lights in the background and the lights in my face, I thought, hmm, let's give something else a go. I'm still trying to figure out the best lighting. So I do apologize in advance if this is not working out for you guys. Although I am so all ears to hear your thoughts and opinions on how to actually, you know, light everything and all that. I wanna make sure that my viewings feel homey and cozy. Anyways, today is a new day and it's all about shirtless Chris Hemsworth. I mean, Thor. The only bit of memory I have in this movie is Chris Hemsworth, sorry, I should say Thor. Thor fighting Loki at the very end in some sort of a colourful bridge sequence and him being shirtless, of course. That's all I remember. So, without further ado, let's get this party started with... The Mighty Thor. No, it's just Thor. Oh, sorry. Thor. One, two, three, go! Here we go. Once again, Paramount, Mexico. Are Miss Natalie Portman. I used to love her in Star Wars. Ooh, what is that? Ooh. <laughs> I wouldn't want to die either. Oh, who was that? Where did he come from? Yes, where did you come from? Ooh, Tonsberg, Norway, 965 AD. Mankind accepted a simple truth. Mr. Anthony Hopkins. What an actor. Round of cold and darkness came with frost giants. Oh, yes, I remember these characters. Oh, well, that's tragic. Mr. Almighty King. Ooh, got some magic happening over here. I love it. I'm a big fan of magic, by the way. So in a way, I might be able to relate to these sorts of movies more than any other movie. Oh gosh, he lost his eye as well. Ooh, pretty. Oh wait, that's the bottom. Ooh, I like, I like. Just floating in outer space, not even an actual planet. Oh wow, look at those statues. Ah, young Thor and young Loki. A wise king never seeks out war. Wise indeed. He must always be ready for it. Oh yeah, of course. This is kind of like setting up their rivalry later on down the track. Ah, there's the hammer. The hammer! Wow, what a hallway. Ah, all grown up. Oh, there's his helmet. I don't I never remember him wearing the actual helmet. Ah, Renee Rosso. The costume designs and sets over here are fantastic. I love it. So again, we've got kind of like a character that's full of ego, wants to prove to himself that he, you know, he's worthy, but all in all the wrong ways, I'm guessing. So long entrusted with the mighty hammer Mjolnir. That's right, it was called Mjolnir. Mjolnir! Ooh, what's happening there? Only to the good of the realm. I swear! None. Do you, Thor? Do you? Uh-oh, they're here. Oh, is that like the protecting guard? The Jotuns must pay for what they've done. March into Jotunheim as you once did. Teach them a lesson. 
Break their spirits and will never dare try to cross our borders again. The thinking only is a warrior. This was an act of war. It was the act of but a few. That's right. That was his issue, right? Because every superhero has an issue. And his one is all about not being able to think benevolently. As king of Asgard. As king of King. Ooh. Dude, not the food. What is it with these superheroes? They keep wasting food. It's unwise to be in my company right now, brother. Oh, but he's loving this. I have seen the Loki series recently as well. So it's just interesting seeing how he's grown as a character throughout the movies now. Because initially he was evil. My friends, we're going. If there is ever a character in this movie, it's probably me right there. Just always after food. <laughs> Ooh, so pretty. Ah, the colourful rainbow bridge. Miss Idris Elba. Oh yes, he's like the gatekeeper. Oh yeah, because he sees everything. So he can kind of see right through Loki. <laughs> That's pretty cool. You can see the inside, how they transport. Oh, hello, ugly. You crave it. You're nothing but a boy trying to prove himself a man. Oh, got owned there. He's itching for a fight. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> ah, there's his disappearing trick. Oh, he's getting an ice burn. Huh, nothing happened to him. The hammer! Ooh, what is that? Get out of there, man. There's the lightning effect. Oh, wow, he can run upside down. Oh, there he goes, he's flying. Oh, <laughs> Superman style. Ooh. Ah, the father, yes. These are the actions of a boy. Treat them as such. You and I can end this here and now before this further bloodshed. Yes, world peace, man, world peace. Ooh. <laughs> Phew, just in the nick of time. Damn you, Thor. The Jotuns must learn to fear me just as they once feared you. That's pride and vanity talking, not leadership. Got everything I taught you. But a warrior's patience. While you wait and you do. Mm. You can tell he's not ready to be a king. Oh. You are a vain, greedy, cruel boy. You are an old man and a fool. Oh man, that's no way to talk to your dad. Oh, <laughs> Just shuts him up. <laughs> you have betrayed the express command of your king through your arrogance and stupidity. Oh. You are Damn. Oh, takes it away from him. Oh, yes, this is all ringing a bell to me now. Yes, of course. Then we're back here. That's right. 
Cool. Is it just me or is Chris Hemsworth's eyebrows dyed up or coloured? You all right? I'm up. I'm up. Yeah, we can tell you're hammered. Damn, we have to take him to the hospital. I'm up. He's fine. Look at him. I'm down. <laughs> yeah, he's totally fine. I know you can hear me. Open the bifrost. Hospital, you go. Off death. Looney. Death threatened me. Thor is so puny. <laughs> What? He was freaking me out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was that Mjolnir? Me? He said it was Thor. T H O. Thor. I've never met him before. Until she hit him with a car. I grazed him, but she tasered him. Yes, I did. <laughs> Isn't that chick from um Two Broke Girls? Uh, TV series. You're no for the mighty. <laughs> <laughs> for the mighty. <laughs> <laughs> oh, everyone's trying to pull it out. <laughs> None of you are worthy. It <laughs> Mr. Stan the Man. And there he is, all chiseled and buffed up. And Natalie Portman is checking him out. That's quite a physique. <laughs> Natalie Portman is like a short little girl and he's like six foot two. This mortal form has grown weak. I need sustenance. That's an interesting way of saying that. What am I? You're my son. Oh, he's one of the frost giants. That's why he didn't freeze. I totally forgot about that. Small. The giant oh, he found him that day in the battle. So I am no more than another stolen relic. Locked up here until you might have use of me. Why do you twist my words? Told me what I was. Yes, why do you twist his words? You know, it all makes sense now why you favor Thor all these years. Because no matter how much you claim to love me, you're going to have a frost giant sitting on the throne of Asgard. Oh, stop, man. Stop. You're killing him. Guys! Guys! Great. Now look what you did. Also, how could you eat an entire box of Pop-Tarts and still be this hungry? Oh, it's not that hard to believe. Trust me. This drink, I like it. I know. It's great, right? Shut up! <laughs> Well, maybe I should do that next time I'm hungry. What was that? It was delicious. I want another. Well, you could have just said so. No, I just did. No, I mean, ask nicely. Where's the fun in that? This is going on Facebook, smile. <laughs> All the answers you seek will be yours once I have a clean meal now. Meow meow? What's meow meow? It always sounds like meow meow. Like a cat. She likes him. Oh, I'm on the verge of understanding something extraordinary. And every... Oh, she's gonna lose all of her stuff. Oh, about this phenomenon is either in his lab or in his book, and you can't just take this away. Hey! Oh, <gasps> all of her life's work. He took our backups. He took the backups of her backups. They were extremely thorough. Just downloaded like 30 songs onto there. Could you please stop with your iPod? <laughs> I'll email him and maybe he can help. They took your laptop too. <laughs> Ah, Loki, on the throne. Where's Odin? I love his helmet. I need a horse! <laughs> we don't have horses, just dogs, cats, birds. They give me one of those large enough to ride. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie Portman is such a cutie, and their chemistry together is cute. What you see, it's a bridge. Like, like a nice time bridge? More like a rainbow bridge. She's like, oh, yeah, you are a loony after all. You think you're just going to walk in, grab our stuff, and walk out? No, I'm going to fly out. Dude, you're really not helping her out here in terms of how she views you. Oh, that's Hawkeye. Can't have it yet, buddy.
Damn, look at those guns. You're not worthy yet, Thor. I'm talking about science, not magic. Well, magic's just science that we don't understand yet, Arthur C. Clarke. Ooh, that's a good way of describing it. I'm really not digging those coloured eyebrows of his. Ooh, the brother's here. Let me explain to father. Father is dead. What? Your banishment. The threat of a new war. It was too much for him to bear. You mustn't blame yourself. Ah, oh, Loki. You're up to your old tricks again. Can I come up? The truce with the Odenheim is conditional upon your exile. <laughs> Couldn't we find a way? Your mother has forbidden your return. Liar! Oh, he's loving this. <laughs> You're definitely not worthy either. Ah, he took it for her. So you're the one who showed us the way into Asgard. That was just a bit of fun, really. Oh, so it was Loki. What happened? We drank, we fought, he made his ancestors proud. Ah, <laughs> Ancestors? Are these your chambers? Ah. Uh. <laughs> chambers? Oh. I'm sorry, I don't want to do this path. Yes. Actually, um... <laughs> Where did she put it? That's not okay. <laughs> oh my god. It was, well, I can get back. I'm sorry, it's not as much as I promised. No, no, this is great. I don't have to start from scratch now. That's so sweet of him. Can you manage to consume four wild horses? A sign of beef and two casks of ale. Shame on you. I'm telling you, that's my character. <laughs> oh, how dare you throw the food away. It's interesting seeing most of these main superheroes coming from an Norwegian backstory of, you know, being self-centred and, you know, a narcissist and, you know, how they've evolved from that. They're like, what cosplay are you guys playing? Hey, so we've got uh, Zena, Jackie Chan, and Robin Hood. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, who are these loonies? My father is dead because of me. Thor, your father still lives. Ah, oh, the moment of truth. Now that I am king, and I say for your act of treason, you are relieved of your duties as gatekeeper. I'm no longer a citizen of Asgard. And I need no longer obey you. <laughs> Oh, Loki, you evil man. I want to start. Oh, the guard. Ooh. Oh, not 7 Eleven. Oh, the backhand slap. That was a dirty move, man. Oh, she loves him. Whosoever holds this hammer, if it be worthy, won't you possess the power? Oh, yes! Here we go. Here it comes. Mjolnir. Woo! He's back. Yeah! <laughs> he was telling the truth. The Mighty Four. Whoa. You know, for someone that's the God of Thunder, you don't really see him do that much of a, like, lightning sort of effect, really, hey? In this movie, anyways. So is this how you normally look? More or less. It's a good luck. Oh my. From this day forward, you can count me as your ally. If you return the items you have taken from Jay. Stolen. All right, of course you can have your equipment back. Yay! She gets it all back. Would you like to see the bridge we spoke of? Uh, sure. <laughs> She's loving this. 
Oh, he's cracking out of it. Oh, he can hear him. Yeah, get him. Oh, yes, they suit each other. Ha! Ah, you're in deep shit now. Why don't you tell them? I've sent the destroyer to kill our friends, to kill me. Yeah, Loki. I will destroy that race of monsters. I will be the true heir to the throne. You can't kill him. Oh, dude. Honestly, you are so not worthy, though. Don't tell me what's that woman. Maybe if it is here, I'll pay her a visit myself. Oh, no, you won't. I love these camera angles. Ah, oh, he tricked him. Well, he is the god of trickster. Sorry, god of mischief. <laughs> Don't bother, you can't. Oh, he's breaking the bridge. Oh, watch out. Whoa, what an effect. Damn, there it goes. That is an amazing effect. Hey, father to the rescue. Oh, I mean, you know, he kind of deserves it. But we all know we're not going to see the end of him. Oh, poor Jane. He promised her that he would come back. That city looks so pretty. Like, that looks like a city that I would want to be in. But it doesn't exist. Oh, look, there I am. I'm telling you, this character really done it for me. He really made the film for me. But so pretty, I can't get over that. You'll be a wise king. Aw, oh, and you have your father's approval now. I shall make you proud. You've already made me proud. Yay! How is she? She searches for you. Aw, oh, that's sweet. Dr. Silver. Mr. Nick Fury again. What's up? Ooh, what was that again? I forgot. What is it? Power, Doctor. Maybe unlimited power. Oh, what the? Well, I guess that's worth a look. Well, I guess that's worth a look. Oh, what? Is he controlling him? Okay, that actually wasn't too bad. I actually enjoyed that. For the MCU's first out of space storytelling, that actually wasn't too bad. It was a nice blend between other world and our world combined together. I gotta say, I think I enjoy the more otherworldly sort of sci-fi sort of storytelling rather than the actual grounded ones so far in the MCU. I really did enjoy Jane and Thor's chemistry as well together. That was cool. I think Loki is perfectly cast as well. The visual effects coming to the third act didn't really work with me at times, but there were also times where it did work, mainly during the parts where they were in Mexico and they were fighting that sentinel or security guard thing, whatever it was. Asgard looked beautiful and the bridge sequence at the end was still a standout for me. I do wish I could have seen more of Renee Russo. Chris Hemsworth is perfectly cast as Thor as well. What did you guys think? Let me know your thoughts guys. Was Jane and Thor's relationship a standout for you as well? Thanks for joining me again guys. Stay tuned because next is Captain America. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later.